What's up YouTube? It's your girl Nurse T and I'm coming to you with another mukbang video. In this video, you know of course I love nursing so I'm going to be chatting about nursing and I'm actually going to talk about three things that I wish I knew before becoming a registered nurse and not only that, before becoming a registered nurse on a med-surg oncology hospice unit. Now when I first became a med-surg I'm sorry, when I first became a nurse, I actually started off on a post-operative neurosurgery unit. And then I decided to kind of relocate, get a little closer to home. So I work, I'm work. i working currently on a unit that has med-surg, oncology, and hospice. So <clears throat> if you're interested in knowing what I wish I would have known before um, becoming one of those type of nurses, keep watching. All right, y'all. So before I get into that, I'm going to share with y'all that um, my nachos today, loaded nachos, include some shrimp, shrimp loaded nachos, shrimp, beef, um, jalapeno peppers, sour cream, tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese, of course. And then, I've, as always, I'm washing it down with my Country Time Lemonade. You know your girl from Texas, Houston, Texas, so excuse the flies if you see any. When I come out with flu food, they like to come out and join me sometimes, so excuse that if you see them. If you don't mind, I don't mind. All right, y'all. And also, small disclaimer, nachos are not the most silent thing to eat, so there is a little crunching involved. I try to eat modestly, you know, but if there is crunching and you don't like crunching, hopefully you can bear with it through this video. So anyways, I'm going to tell you three things that I wish I would have known before becoming a, um, a nurse on a med-surg oncology hospice unit. And even this actually affected me as well when I worked on the post-operative neurosurgery unit as well. But the first thing that I'm going to say <clears throat> that I wish I would have known was <clears throat> where in the hell does this damn anxiety come from? I mean, honestly, I, I've never like been to the doctor and been diagnosed with this. Um, with the things that I'm going to tell you in this video but you know as nurses we self-diagnose ourselves and if it haven't happened to you yet um, just keep being a nurse or better yet if you're a nurse on a med-surg oncology hospice unit so this is the true fact about this pertaining to me so again where in the hell did this anxiety come from so working as a nurse I feel like, and it happened when I became a nurse, I feel like I develop anxiety. I just get these, like, I feel like anxiety came out of nowhere. And I think it's the the pressure, the um, the thrill of, of needing to know what you need to know when you need to know it. And prior to then, you know, when I worked as a PCA, a tech, I mean, you know, I would go to work, but being fearful of us having a cold and all this kind of stuff, that wasn't my main focus. My focus was getting patients clean, bathed, walking them in the hall, you know, activities of daily living, checking vitals. When it came to the critical stuff, I'm like, oh, hold that thought. Let me go get your nurse. But guess what? <laughs> I am the nurse now. So, it's my job to be able to critically think. So, and I, I also can say also that a lot of anxiety stemmed from when I was in nursing school too. Because like if I go into a test and I'm not prepared, anxiety would kick my, you know what. So, that's why I used to be proactive and try to be um try to be prepared for those tests because i knew that if i went to a test and i wasn't prepared mm -mm, it wouldn't do me no good so anxiety <clears throat> i feel like because on the unit and i see it i even see it with the new the new grads fortunately for me it's been four years i'm going on five years two 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 I'm going on five years as a nurse this summer, but all of this stemmed from when I first became one. I think I'm cool now, but still, it should still have some form of anxiety. 
because you don't want to just be chilling and your patients are dying. So definitely want to still make sure you stand on top, stand on your toes. So anxiety was one thing I wish I would have known that I would have had um, after I became a nurse. The next thing, and I can honestly say, this might have a lot to do with the kind of unit I work on. Because maybe somebody that works in pediatrics, um, in a happy place, LND, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Unless they see some things that, you know, unfortunately can happen. But depression. Man. I try, I'm a nurse that try, you know what y'all, you know what I'm missing out of this? I'm missing my guacamole. Cause I gotta have guacamole with my nachos. That's what I'm missing. I know I'm missing something. But, you know, they tell you not to take that stuff home with you. Not to wear your feelings on your shoulders. And I usually try not to do that. You know, I'm still caring, empathetic, you know. But I try not to let patients, illness, patients when they die, patients just what they going through. I try not to let it get the best of me because how else I'm going to function. That's why I know I can't work with kids. I don't, I don't not work with kids because I don't like them. I love them. I just know what I'm able to tolerate and what I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I be crying more than doggone parents. But yeah, so again, like I said, I usually try not to like let it get the best of me, but I work on an oncology floor, a hospice floor. So I see a lot. I see a whole, whole, whole lot. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's sad. But, you know what, I think it's worse for me, especially if I allow myself to get, you know, get deeply involved in it. I think it hurts the worst. Well, it saddens me and depresses me the worst, the most. When I see someone my age, someone who has kids just like me, young kids, because... But most of y'all who probably know me or probably heard me say, you know, I lost my mother at a very young age. Mm, it's hard to go through life without your mom, you know? So to see these young kids that I know are going to lose their parent, especially their mom, or if it's their dad, you know, that saddens me. <clears throat> but... Like I said, I, I try not to let it get the best of me, but it can happen. So I wish I would have known before I started working on the med surge oncology hospice unit that my crybaby cry behind will be depressed. Like, I take the illness to heart. You know? But I try not to, like I said, it's it just various situations probably out of my whole four years i might have did it once or twice but well i went home and cried about it but a whole lot of times i'll look at you know just overall and when i first started working in in health in, in nursing as a nurse even at the other hospital i worked at a neurosurgery when patients die especially young ones it does something to me so that's why it's important to use your vacation time. Use it wisely. Don't try to be that overachiever working 365 days a week. Because you'll definitely wear yourself out. And you need to be able to recuperate. Last but not least, um, I'm going to say that I wish This is what I wish. And this could just be pertaining to me. Because I'm a med surgeon nurse. So if you look on the, um, if you look on the website, 
and see the highest paying nurse to the lowest paying nurse, you might see med surge down here, all the way up to nurse anesthetist up here, CRNA, of course, the top dog, next to CNO and all that other stuff. But um, med surge will be somewhere down here. However, don't be discouraged if you is thinking about becoming a med surge nurse, because you can still make money. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's just starting off. You know, I've only been a nurse for four years. And it only can get better. But what I want to work on is residual income. Because you got to be smart. Got to work smart. Came back there working hard. So basically, what I wish I would have known as far as in money-wise, because like I said in the other video, nurses can make good money. But a lot of them work really hard. They pockets book, I'm sure, be fat and nice. Their houses be large. Their rides be clean. But you work hard for it. Unless you, like I said, unless you're a nurse on another level. Nurse practitioner. Nurse anesthetist. Um, a nurse with a bunch of side gigs. Like I said, you have aesthetic nursing. You have people out there doing injections, getting certified, and so many other things. And... I'll be looking up in that area soon. You have traveling nurses. <clears throat> you have nurses that are on here posting that they're making 16000 a week. I mean, two weeks. They're making 140000 a year. Baby nurses. Baby, like under five years. Travel nursing, yeah, you can definitely do that. Yeah, you could do that as a med surge nurse, make that kind of money, but you're going to be clocking in, swiping in pretty often. And if you're a hustler, you probably don't see nothing wrong with it. But sometimes you just, you know, like me, I like balance. Um, so with me, I'll pick up an extra day. I'm no stranger to picking up an extra day a week. And um, I am, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I have um, agencies that I have... Um, signed up for that I can go and work for um, I actually worked another agency this year but I won't show that but um, there's so many other agencies like I said I signed up for one yesterday just waiting on them to um, get an opening for a med surge nurse here in Houston but they paying $65 an hour you know well I see you nursing you know so, what I wish I would have known, like I said, is I always saw the flashy stuff that the nurses would have, but I didn't know how much work they put in to get it. No. So, they usually work, have their primary job as nursing. Then once they start stacking their money, they have, like, they go out there and get real estate. Um... They have merch like you know people that's on youtube now now you got merch now you have other little side gigs and that's what i want to do more this year do a couple of things that's going to help me with make have some residual income coming in so i have my 50th nursing coming up and i want to buy me something nice really nice <laughs> so if you're following me Hopefully, I'll be able to show you what that is when that time comes. So, but anyways, those are the three things. I wish I would have known. Um, I wish I would have known um, about the anxiety. That hell, I would get goddamn anxiety while being a nurse. Um, which is better now. Way, way, way better. But I can still see it in the new grads. And that was me at one point. So, that's why I was really worse as a new grad. Especially on a med surge unit. It is a tough unit. I ain't gonna lie. The other thing was the depression. If I allow myself to let it get the most of me. Depression. And then the money. Money is good. Trust me, it's good. I can show you a paycheck. A paycheck. And, um. With a little overtime in it. And, um. Yeah, so the money is good, but you got to work hard for it. So I want that kind of money to come easy. 
But anyways, y'all, I'm going to wrap this up.